Alright guys, Lee P here. Today we're going to have a healthy buffalo chicken dip recipe. And um, here we have all the ingredients and I'm going to show you what we got at the store. I'm here with Jake. And uh, we're going to put all this together for you guys. So first off we have some premium grilled chicken breast. We got lazy so we're going to do the cans. But um, I recommend cooking it but we both have work tomorrow so we're going to take this the easy way out. If you want to take it the easy way out you can use the cans. We have our cheeses. So we have shredded mild cheese, uh, mild cheddar cheese. We have fat-free mozzarella cheese, and then this is really high in protein, and we'll be using uh, these packets. And then for the last cheese, we have ricotta cheese, and this is fat-free as well, so really uh, low in fat and high in protein. That's kind of what we're going for here. Second to last cheese. And then the last cheese is fat-free cream cheese. So those are our cheeses for this recipe. Um, the sauces we're going to be using are buffalo zero calorie sauce, French Red Hot, and then the secret here is your Greek yogurt ranch. So this is Bolt House Farms Greek yogurt ranch, um, only 45 calories per serving, and this is good on really anything, salads, dips, um, it's good on a lot of different recipes. So uh, this is definitely one of my go-tos. For here we have, uh, so these are kind of our sides here left over. So we have, uh, it kind of depends on what you're going for and how low your calories are, but for me, I'll probably be doing the protein chips. Um, these are Quest protein chips. You can get protein chips pretty much anywhere nowadays. They're not that great to be honest, but they, they work. So we have that. We have Quakers white cheddar rice cakes. These are also pretty good and low in calorie and they're pretty filling. And then the last thing, but not least here we have for the chips is, is uh, Buffalo pretzel chips. And these are really good and they're pretty low in calorie for what you get. And then the vegetable we have is cauliflower rice. I definitely recommend this uh, over normal rice. Uh, it definitely is a great alternative and it's very low in calorie. If you want to show them right here, I can, boom. So you can see that 25 calories per serving and it's really filling. Usually I eat the whole bag and it's like 100 calories. And then the last thing is the seasoning. This is to, to make up for the ranch that we're not using. So it's zero calorie seasoning. Alright, boom. Actually, bro, it's not zero calorie. It's not zero calorie. They lied to us. Prepare it at 60. No, right, never mind. That's a percent. It's five calories. Five calories. There you go. Five calories. Dude, this is gonna be. The first step is we have our bowl here. Um, this is our cream cheese. Take a look at that, man. We're gonna throw it all in the bowl. Throw some of our cheeses into the bowl. There's one. And then we have a cup of ricotta cheese going in. And fat gonna, free, it's key. Yeah, it's all fat free, that's the key for sure. And then we're throwing this right into the microwave. 30 seconds. Let it out melt a little bit. Oh shit. So now we got this out of the microwave, we're gonna just stir it up real quick. Break, break the cheese, mix it all in. And then we're gonna add some more cheese. We're gonna add the cheddar cheese. This is a lot of cheese, man, it's crazy. All right, boom, so that's that. We're gonna throw in, this is the fat-free cheddar cheese here. We're gonna go in and throw the whole bag. So we're gonna make multiple servings of this because we're both eating and we want something to take home. So I'm just gonna dump that in there. Leave a little bit though. A little bit? crest on the top. Oh, true, true, true. Alright, that's that. Keep mixing. Alright, now you're done. No, I'm just kidding. Next, we're gonna add in one cup of fat free mozzarella cheese, so I'm just gonna dump it in here. Boom. And then we're gonna add about in one cup of the classic ranch Greek yogurt dressing, so we're gonna throw this in as well. Alright, here we go. That's good. And then we're gonna do the hot sauce. So next we'll do the hot sauce. I'm probably gonna do about one cup of hot sauce. And this is kind of up for you to debate. It's zero calories, it depends how spicy you kind of want it to be. We'll start with one cup and then we'll see how it is. So, go in here. We kind of like it spicy, so. So next we have our ranch. Uh, this is ranch seasoning. It's like five calories per serving, so we're gonna add about half the bag. Just throw it up in here. Cause 
we're trying to minimize the Greek yogurt dressing, but this should help if you like buffalo chicken dip with ranch, it'll help make it taste better. So, you don't have to add all these ingredients like this. If you don't like ranch, don't add ranch. Or if you don't like certain cheeses, you don't have to add it, but this is kind of just how we do it, so it's up to you to do it how you would like to. I mean, all this can be edited, so take it with a grain of salt and do it how you like it. This can definitely be adjusted. All right, so after we're done mixing, and to be honest, at this point, I feel like you could stop. It tastes so good. Like, if you wanted to use this as dressing during the week on your salads, this would be like a high protein dressing you could use. But now we have, we're gonna add the main ingredient, uh, the canned chicken. And I guess this recipe is a good way to make canned chicken taste really good because this already tastes incredible. So, we're gonna add in the canned chicken. Um, you can do it like this if you wanna be quick, or you can cook the chicken and it'll taste better. So, we uh, already drained the chicken and we're just gonna dump it in. And then mix it all together, and then we're gonna cook it. So there's one. I'm gonna get all of them. Two. There's gonna be thick, bro. Another one. Dude, that's so much chicken. This is straight games, dude. So now we're gonna pour the uh, the buffalo chicken dip into the Pyrex and we're gonna put it in the oven. And I'm gonna mix it a little bit more. But yeah, as you can see, we I mean, we're gonna probably fill up the majority of this thing. We have a big amount. Wow. And then we're gonna blend it even more. All right guys, the final step is to add a little bit of mild cheddar cheese on top so that when you put it in the oven, the cheese melts on top. So don't use the whole bag. Save a little at the end so that you can put some on top like this. And then we'll throw it in the oven. We have the oven baked at uh, 400. We already preheated it. We're about to throw it in. And then we'll let it cook for, I mean, you play it by, I mean, maybe about 10 minutes. We just watch to see the cheese melt on top. And then that's when it's done. I say more like 20 minutes. The optional last step is to do a buffalo drizzle. Wow. All right, so it's looking good. We're about to throw it in. That looks tasty. Alright guys, so it came out of the oven, and um, as you can tell, like we didn't even wait. Um, we kind of already dug at it, but yeah, here's like the aftertaste test, so I'll tell you guys how it is. And it's 10 out of 10. It's just like the buffalo chicken that you get at the, um, like at Super Bowl parties and stuff, like where they have the, the uh, chips and the appetizers and you get the buffalo chicken dip. I mean, don't be jealous though, because you can just make this for yourself. So um, I'm gonna do the macros real quick of it, so you can, if you use my fitness pal, you can you can plug it into the app. And let me just turn it sideways. My phone's super slow. All right, so this whole container here is is 2,336 calories, which I don't even know if I can eat that in a whole day. Um, it's 99 grams of carbs, 48 grams of fat and 384 protein, which is ridiculous. So this is basically a healthy alternative for buffalo chicken dip, and you guys feel free to try it because it's awesome. I think you should, so thanks for watching.